In this lesson, we're going to look at something called the range. Now, let's look at this information first. The table below shows temperatures measured in the Moon and the Earth. So if you look at the Moon temperatures, and it's in degrees Fahrenheit here, uh, these are recordings. So on the Moon, the temperature dropped to minus 61 degrees, and some temperatures it was recorded as 199 degrees. But when you add all these temperatures up, if you add 35 and 154 and 199 and negative 140 and so on, and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the mean temperature and the average temperature is 17.4 degrees Fahrenheit. On Earth, um, the temperature didn't drop as much, it was at negative 44, and the top temperature was 82 degrees Fahrenheit when it was recorded. And if you add all these figures up and divide by 5, you get 17.4 which seems a bit strange, then we're saying that the average temperature on the Moon and the Earth are just the same. But you can see that the temperatures in the Moon were far lower and far higher. It's just when they're averaged out, it comes to the same value. So sometimes the mean doesn't give us a full picture, we need a bit more. Um, we need something to show a measure of spread, how spread out the information is. You can see that the Moon is spread out far greater than the Earth temperatures. The lowest temperature is negative 161 and the highest is 199, whereas the Earth temperatures are not that spread out compared to that. Highest being 82 and lowest being negative 44. There's more extremes in the Moon. So the range helps us to understand what's going on with the data and the information, how, how um, spread out it is. It's really easy to calculate. Basically all you do is you take the highest data value and subtract the lowest data value, and that gives you how spread out the information is. So let's look at uh, three cases here. In the first one, we have to find the largest value. So um, we have to state the range. So if you find the highest value, that's 6. And the lowest value here is 1. So all you need to do is do 6, take away 1. And 5 is how spread out the information is from the smallest to the highest value. Question 2 here, uh, same idea. The biggest value is 18. The smallest value you can see is 2. So 18, take away 2. And the, the range, of, if you like, from the smallest to the highest is a, is a jump of 16. On this one, we're just having a look for, for negative numbers as well. If you look for the highest value here, it's 15. Uh, in this instance, we're going to have to subtract negative 2 is the lowest value here. So if you subtract negative 2, just be careful with that. Um, the difference between 15 and negative 2, you actually add when you subtract a negative, and that's 17.